Hey guys, are you ready for some money rehab? Wall Street has been completely upended by an unlikely player, GameStop. And should I have a 401k? You don't do it? No, I know. Girl! You think the whole world revolves around you and your money? Well, it doesn't. Charge for wasting our time. I will take a check. Like a old school check. You recognize her from anchoring on CNN, CNBC, and Bloomberg. The only financial expert you don't need a dictionary to understand. The cold lapin. Coinbase is a huge name in the crypto space, and the finance world at large has historically considered Coinbase a company to watch. If you haven't heard of it, it's a platform where you can buy and sell crypto. And users can also sign up for a Coinbase wallet, which is a secure place to store cryptocurrency. Or at least that's what we thought. Earlier this month, Coinbase released their quarterly earnings report, also known as a 10K. This is a routine report that public companies are required to file. But the contents of Coinbase's report were anything but routine. Reporters at Fortune read the fine print of this report and blew the lid off a story that shocked and terrified, frankly, Coinbase users. Here's what they found. Coinbase added a disclosure in their recent earnings statement that said that if the company ever filed for bankruptcy, they might pay off their debts with their users' assets. Let me say that one more time so it really sinks in. Coinbase is saying that in case of a financial emergency, they can literally reach into users' Coinbase wallets and take all of the cryptocurrency stored there. And I am not exaggerating. This is the exact language from Coinbase. Quote, because custodially held crypto assets may be considered to be property of a bankruptcy estate, in the event of a bankruptcy, the crypto assets we hold in custody on behalf of our customers could be subject to bankruptcy proceedings and such customers could be treated as our general unsecured creditors, end quote. So that's a whole lot of jargon, but the wording that is particularly noteworthy is calling users general unsecured creditors. That means that users would be stripped from the right to their assets. Can you believe that? No one signed up for that. I can't even begin to explain how insane this is to me. It would be like your bank saying, yes, your money is safe here. But if we ever fuck up and stop doing our job or make a gigantic mistake, we'll play responsibility musical chairs and you will become the bank. In all of my years of reporting on financial news, I have never seen anything like it. And I know you probably have a million questions. I mean, I had a million and one questions. So let's get to it. First of all, how likely is it that we are going to see this disaster play out? Well, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong says there's nothing to worry about. He tweeted this. Your funds are safe at Coinbase, just as they've always been. Armstrong also said explicitly that the company is not at risk of bankruptcy and explained that the company had to add that disclosure in the earnings report because of new requirements from the SEC. However, Armstrong wasn't all warm and fuzzy. He also tweeted this. Quote, this disclosure makes sense in that these legal protections have not been tested in court for crypto assets specifically. It is possible, however unlikely, that a court would decide to consider customer assets as part of the company in bankruptcy proceedings, even if it harmed consumers. End quote. So how I read this is that Armstrong is ultimately saying Coinbase users don't have anything to worry about until they do. But let's not take Armstrong's word for it. Let's look at the numbers. On the plus side, on Tuesday, Coinbase became the first crypto company to become a Fortune 500 company. In 2021, Coinbase recorded a revenue of over $7.8 billion, which doesn't sound like a company on the verge of bankruptcy to me. However, in the now infamous earnings report, Coinbase reported a 400